Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will talk about the TL431. This little IC is a programmable voltage reference. It behaves like an adjustable center diode and you can set the output voltage between 2.5 and 36 volts. As we know, a sinner diode is connected in this way if, for example, we have a supply voltage of 12 volts and our sinner is a 5 volt sinner, then the diode will draw the necessary current to maintain the output voltage at a constant value of 5 volts. The TL431 works in the same way but this voltage can be adjusted at any value that we want in the range of 2.5 to 36 volts. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files Select the PCB properties, select the payment method, and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. This is the most basic connection of the TL431. It has three pins, reference, anode, and cathode. This is the reference, anode, and cathode. When we connect the reference to this point, the device will draw a current in order to maintain the output at a precise value of 2.5 volts. This current will always be less than 100 milliamps, otherwise it will burn. And you can calculate it using Ohm's law. The voltage drop through the device is the difference of these two voltages and divided by the resistance. This is why we need this resistor here in order to limit the current through our device. In this case, with these values, we obtain 29 milliamps, which is okay. Now let's see this circuit working. Here's the circuit on breadboard. I will connect the supply voltage and measure the output voltage. I have the power supply at 12 volts and let's connect the circuit. You can see that it's drawing 29 milliamps just as we calculated and now let's see the output voltage. It is 2.5 volts as it should be and we can change the input voltage. Let's put 15 volts. Of course, it is drawing more current, but the output voltage stays constant at 2.5 volts. We can vary the voltage, the input voltage as we want, but not more than 36 volts, of course, and the circuit maintains 2.5 volts at the output. Now, if you want an output voltage different than 2.5 volts, which is the basic reference voltage of the TL431, you simply add a voltage divider formed by two resistors. And the output voltage will be given by this formula, 2.5 times 1 plus R1 divided by R2. For example, if we use R2 equal to R1 equal to 15 kilo ohms, we see that the output voltage will be 5 volts. Ideally, you will want the resistors to be of a high value on the order of kilo ohms in order to reduce the current draw. Let's now see this example working. Okay, I added the two resistors that form the voltage divider with 12 volts at the input 
let's check the output voltage. And we can see that it's 5 volts just as we calculated. If we want a continuously variable voltage output, all we have to do is to add a potentiometer at this point. In this way, we can vary the output voltage from 2.5 volts up to the input voltage. Ok, I have added the potentiometer to the circuit and let's see, I'm going to turn on my power supply at 15 volts at with the potentiometer in the minimum value we have 2.5 volts at the output and turning the potentiometer we can vary the output voltage at any value that we want between 2.5 and the maximum which is the input voltage. Ok, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next video.